butter. It's the base to many delicious dishes, just like this one. This is my buttered snow pea fettuccine. Only a few ingredients needed, but of course, quality. So we'll start with some beautiful organic certified butter. This is an Australian butter and it's made with grass fed cow's milk. So it's absolutely delicious. You want the best quality butter because we're going to be using quite a lot of it in this pasta sauce. So I want about 100 grams of butter and I'm using salted butter for something a little different today. We're going to add some salt, of course, but this just really ensures that we get a perfect seasoning in our sauce. So little cubes of butter, cold, and then into a pan. I'll turn the heat on, medium heat, and to this I'll add just a small splash of oil. You don't need much oil at all. I'm talking about a tiny little drop. That'll just ensure that that butter doesn't burn as it starts to heat up there. We'll give that a bit of a swirl and let that start to foam up. While that's melting away, finely slice some French shallot. I like to use French shallot for this because it's subtle in flavour. So you could use onion, just really finely slice it. These French shallots as they cook in the butter become so sweet. That's why I'm adding them to this dish. And while I'm slicing, I'll also get onto my snow peas. Now you can see that I've already given myself a bit of a head start, but what you want to do is top and tail your snow peas. And you'll notice that there's a little stringy part on the straight end of the snow pea. You also want to remove that because that's not very edible at all. And then just with a knife, thinly slice them into four or five pieces. These cooked in butter are just so delicious. So make them a hero in your next pasta like this one. So I'll just finish these off and we'll pop them together. All right, the butter has almost melted, so it's time to add our shallots. Sprinkle them in and just give that pan a swirl. And it's all about flavouring this delicious butter. To this, I'll add some marjoram. Now, marjoram is such a unique herb. What marjoram does is give a beautiful floral flavour to this. So if you can find it, use it. It is such a very old school herb that goes nicely with butter, snow peas and pasta. So it is quite intense in flavour, so you only need a small amount of it to go quite far. We'll just keep giving that a swirl. And now it's time to add our pasta to the water. I'm using some fresh fettuccine for this recipe, so it takes no time at all to cook. We'll place that into some rapidly boiling water and then in with our pasta. And just grab some tongs and give that a bit of a swirl just to loosen the fettuccine. And while that cooks, we can finish off this sauce. So in with these finely sliced snow peas. And because they are so finely sliced and because they're delicate, you really don't need to cook this long at all. So just give that a bit of a toss in the butter. We'll also add a small pinch of salt and some freshly cracked pepper. And now we just wait patiently for that pasta to finish cooking. Once it's finished cooking, we can toss it together with just a few more delicious things. All right, this is cooked down nicely. Our pasta is cooked. So we're gonna grab our pasta and pop it straight into the pan. I also want that water to go in because it's going to help emulsify that buttery sauce. So one to two tablespoons of that starchy water can go in. Back on the heat, coating everything in all that delicious butter. And I love those speckles of green from our slivers of snow peas. To this we'll add the zest of some lemon and you want to leave that lemon to the last minute to really get that gorgeous intense fresh flavour from it. Some parmesan, a good grating of parmesan, to slip that rain over the top and we'll give that a final toss just to really agitate that pan and allow that sauce to come together. And see that? That has thickened up. It's just what I'm after. Perfect. One last toss. Let's plate this up. So a nice generous mound of this pasta in the center of a bowl. And don't forget all those buttery snow peas. We'll just pile them on top. I can smell that margarine. It smells so good. Last little touch 
of parmesan. We'll sprinkle that over the top, all around the plate, and some cracked pepper. And that right there is a vegetarian delight, showing off how easy it is to make something simple, elegant, delicious, with that base of beautiful butter. It's a beautiful thing, it really is. <laughs>